Hi and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we are going to learn about the mathematics function of the FADIC PLC programming in WinProletter software. So we will um, again select a new project here and we will select our PLC model click OK and here is OK. How much mathematics you know you can use here in your PLC programming. First of all I will use our push button here which is x0 and uh, mathematic and you when you will click on this function click here you can see arithmetic here when you will click on this arithmetic you will see plus minus multiplication division plus one minus one it's actually increment decrement we use this uh, in our analog especially so these are mathematical functions you can use here for example here I'm going to use plus um, alright so here I am using I'm saying that please add my counter number 0 value to my timer number 1 value alright I'm saying that please add my counter number 0 value to my timer number 0 value and show me this value to a data register D means data register data register it's actually a notebook that record the value record the addition value added value I will write here D0 or I can write R0 as well so here is here we have added our addition function of mathematics what we are saying here that please add our c0 which is counter number 0 value to our timer number 1 value and sh record it to our data register which is d0 and in another uh, function we are using x1 and alright here we will use counter which is our x0 and preset value of this counter is for example 1000 and we need a timer which which is uh, uh, our T1 so here we will use T1 and preset value is like um, 10,000 alright now we are just add add uh, we are doing addition in in the in this program what we are saying that we are saying please add our c0 value of this counter to our t1 timer number 1 and show it to d0 which is data register so let me check here how it is working go to simulation run your plc all right uh, because it the counter number 0 the value of c0 is 3 here we have right and the value of timer is is 0 when I will switch on this addition uh, the, uh, the function of add addition so it the data register value will become d3 d0 which is 3 when I will increase the value of the counter 4 you can see above in the data register it's also increasing right all right let me switch on my timer when I switched on my timer you can see the addition value here right so what it is doing is just uh, add the both values compare both values and add both values and show me here I can use this D0 terminal uh, for comparison for example I use please compare my uh, D0 value to um, another value so that's how we can use this value and this functions as well as other functions of the mathematics alright so here I'm going to save this addition project so I will upload it to my article addition okay so we will use now 
the subtraction actually the subtraction and all other functions of mathematics is same as we have used this okay so subtraction here what I want to subtract it is just asking the value of the subtraction which value subtract from which value I said for example please subtract my d0 value what is d0 d0 is here d0 value to my t1 value and show it to d1 another register I am going to put here uh, so let me check now this subsection functions as oh I'm sorry put here uh, x3 which is our push button switch on these functions this button and so this function will start performing its functions now when I will click on counter and our timer so you can see the value d0 is just subtract by t1 value right so we are getting uh, the new value so here we th the same function we are using uh, addition and subtraction which is mathematics functions let me use another one or let me save this subsection all right <laughs> now we will use uh, other functions here we have division let me use this division functions it is just asking what you want to divide and what you want from divide this value I use please divide my d1 value to d0 value and put it to d3 d2 alright <coughs> okay let me check this value here it's our division function we are going to use run your PLC and you can see it is starting uh, it is running and it is just divide the both values alright so that's how you can use division function in your PLC program